So guys, today I'm in possibly one of the prettiest places in America. Look at this place. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ultimate Bucket List. And today I'm in the town of Sedona. This is possibly one of the prettiest places you will ever come to in your life. I mean, just take a look at that scenery. Seriously guys, this is what it actually looks like when you get here. And it stretches on for miles and miles, so you've got plenty of things to look at whilst you're here in Sedona. And trust me, I had an amazing time, and here's why. Now, this place will take you about an hour's drive from Flagstaff, or an hour and a half's drive from Phoenix. But it's definitely, definitely worth the drive. It was like driving a giant racetrack. Seriously, guys, the drive to Sedona itself, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. But just look at the view. Wow. I've just gone along that really twisty road. And that was an amazing drive in itself. That probably was worth about $10 worth of, of track driving money. But, you know, look at the scenery around here, guys. I've just literally come out of a desert, and now it appears I'm in some kind of forest. In the middle of a desert. This place is cool. Now, honestly, guys, I thought Sedona was just the name of the forest or the national park. Turns out, Sedona's an actual town. And what a town it is. Look at this. This is cool. I mean, seriously, people live out here? Everything that you think of for old time America, an old Western town, everything made of wood, log cabins, Native American stuff. Yeah, it's pretty much all here. And the fact that when you look up, you see these amazing rock formations. It, this place is incredible. The first stop has to be the Sedona Visitor Center. The guys here are very, very helpful. They'll tell you where the best places to go are. They'll tell you where the best places to eat are. So guys, you get this helpful information here. I mean, this is, this is very helpful, but way too much information for me. Um, it's pretty handy, I guess. They give you maps and they kind of tell you roughly what to do. But the scale of this place, look at the look at the scenery. I don't know if you can see that, but that's amazing. I'm in a high car at the moment, and what I've done is I've got a map from the visitor center, and I'm going to various places that I think would make a good vantage point, this being one of them. This is the airport overlook, and it's right next to Sedona Airport, which I didn't realize they, they had an airport, but yeah, it, it, it's right over there. That's weird. You get an amazing view of the town of Sedona right from the airport. So after taking in the breathtaking sights at the airport approach, I decided, you know what, let's drive around and see where else I could find. Whilst driving, I spotted this in the distance, and I thought, Psh, heh, why not? I'm going to see if I can scale this thing over here. Yep, that one. And even though this is a national park, this was definitely no walk in the park. It was bloody difficult and hard work. My destination, guys, is only there. But realistically, I think I'm only halfway up. But even halfway up, check out the view. I mean, holy cow. This is pretty up here. All right, guys, I've hit a brick wall. Quite literally, this thing is pretty vertical. I gotta see if I can find another way around to try and get to the top. But oh boy, this is tiring. I've done it. Check this out. Look right up there. Oh, obviously, I can't climb that because it's pretty vertical. But yeah, I reached the top. I reached the top. Oh, what's your reward for reaching the top? Check this out.
All right, guys, so here's the car. Here's my car. And that's where I've just climbed from or to. Uh, the way down was a bit easier. Uh, there's a few trails that kind of spiral you around the place, so that was okay, but yeah, climbing up the thing, that is hard work. But the views, the views, the views are definitely worth it. Oh, oh I need a shower. So after a makeshift shower, basically consisting of a water bottle and a towel, I decided to drive on just to see what else there is to see. Now, if you follow the map from the visitor center, you'll come across some of the most famous rocks on the planet. And boy, is it worth the drive and the effort to get there. And obviously, feel free to stop the car at any point and just explore what's around you. Now, if I had to do it all over again, I'd probably take a trolley just like these guys in front of me, whereby someone's actually teaching you what these rocks are about. But I was on a budget and I decided to do it all myself. But it's not overtly difficult. You can literally park at any designated parking space and just hike around at your own leisure. I mean, this really is a magical place and I thoroughly enjoyed my day here at Sedona and I'm sure you will as well. Check the maps because there are numerous places that you can park for free, but the most popular ones and the most picturesque ones you do have to pay for. You'll need to buy a Red Rock Pass, which costs $5, and this will allow you parking in pretty much the premium car parks dotted around Sedona. Now, if you don't feel like driving or you're not in a hire car, there are numerous tour companies in the town that will take you to pretty much everywhere you want to go. You can go on trolleys, you can go on this pretty cool outdoor 4x4 thing, and you can even fly if you have the budget. Obviously, I don't have that, so hence why I'm in a car. If you're into hiking, if you're into biking, if you have a motorcycle, or even if you just want to drive the place, the scenery is very picturesque. The roads are very smooth and clean, and overall, this is a great outdoorsy place. I'm not kidding, guys. I, I, I really am in awe of this place. I know I went to the Grand Canyon yesterday, but I actually prefer Sedona. It's not overtly crowded. You can drive around. It didn't cost anything to get in here. Yeah, what's that not to like? Okay, Nin, I'm sold. I want to go to Sedona. What do I do? Well, you need to come to Sedona. It's an hour's drive from Flagstaff, an hour and a half drive from Phoenix. You could fly here, but it's only a small airport. The cost to visit Sedona, it costs absolutely nothing. But to park in the premium car parks, it'll cost you a $5 uh, Red Rock Pass. And if you decide to take a tour, it'll range you from anywhere between 15 and $45. Obviously, if you took the uh, helicopter one, that'll cost you significantly more. Is there anything else I need to know? Yes, plan your stops in advance. Circle the stops that you want to go to and just go with that. I guarantee that you'll have a great time here. It's, it's very, very pretty, I'm not gonna lie. And it, it's a shame that I've got so little time to spend here, otherwise I'd, I'd spend a couple of days here, definitely. Guys, you really have to add this to your bucket list. I'm not kidding. You'll thank me once you've seen this place. Guys, if you've enjoyed this episode of Ultimate Bucket List, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment on the comment section below, and if you've got any other ideas for bucket lists, tweet them at me, and if I get enough suggestions, I'll, I'll go do it. So, guys, thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next episode. Guys, this is the way down. It's vertical. Can't go this way. Look, look at that cliff edge. Yeah, definitely, definitely not climbing down that. Uh, yeah, gonna have to find another way down. <laughs>